Joining me now is that author, Sonia Curry. Her book is called Fierce Love, a memoir of family, faith, and purpose. Thank you so much, Mrs. Curry, for being with us. I'm thrilled to have you on the program. And congratulations, the Golden State Warriors uh, won last night, advancing to the next round of playoffs. Um, so very happy to have you here. Well, thanks for having me. Thank you. You're looking gorgeous and beautiful this morning, as always. Um, I, so <laughs> I've been reading. You were able to talk to uh, my good friend, Jamel Hill, on her podcast. I thought yes. that was such a great interview, um, very revealing. Um, and I wanted to ask, what's something in this book that reveals um, something about you and or your family that fans and followers might not already know and might be surprised by? Wow. <laughs> That's a good question, because <laughs> I feel like everybody knows everything about us anyway, so because yes. we pretty much are an open book family, so yeah. what you see is what you get, um, and, you know, my daughter's on IG, and so she's been very generous with really her experiences, and so people often get comments about her just saying, you know, they just love how vulnerable that she is, and honest and open that she is, so honestly, I don't, I don't know what that would be. Yeah. Well, that, well, that's a good thing, though. That you know, your family, you are so so public and and welcoming. Uh, I think to people. I think that's why people look at your family uh, and, and feel a part of the family. Um, but well, so well, I'll, I'll ask you something else because we talked last segment about these fans getting out of hand um, in the stands. You have certainly spent a lot of time um, in the stands. We saw Chris Paul's mother um, and the incident that happened with, with her and and this kid. So, what's been the most challenging part of sitting in the stands for you all these years? It's been a little bit of what you just described. And, you know, I, I, we understand that fans pay, they come to the game, they want to have an experience too. So, um, but sometimes, you know, things get out of hand and just sitting there and allowing the fans to be fans and have fun, but at the same time, making sure that they don't cross the lines of disrespect. And I right. think one of the other things of just sitting in the stands is that the cameras are on you all the time. So you just don't know when they're going to catch you doing anything, um, right. <laughs> a, a right. bad shot, a bad look on your face or whatever, or chatting or whatever. And so you know, that's the other thing is that you, you don't often get to just come and be a parent and watch your child play because it really is a show. Um, yeah. And so you have to just be cognizant about that all the time. You just feel like you're on all the time. Right. Well, I will have to say, you have not met a camera who doesn't like you, madam. So uh, you don't have to worry <laughs> about a bad shot on you. Now, I want to ask you a question. And I will be in, in full transparency. I'm asking this for um, some friends of mine um, who okay. are, are just at a different place in life. Um, I want to know what advice you would offer to women who, I have friends going through this, who spent their entire lives devoted to their families. They raised children, they were devoted to their husbands, and then they find themselves in their 50s or 60s. And all the things that they spent their life doing are now gone. You know, that, that part of their life mm -hmm. is over and it's a new phase and they're rediscovering themselves. What advice would you offer to women who are in that phase of life right now? I think I would just, one, just say, take a deep breath, exhale. It's okay. Um, this phase is over. Another phase is coming. And so what we need to do is we need to, for me, I just get in prayer and I just start listening and waiting for God to show me what the next thing is. So I think it's, you know, breathe, relax. It's going to come because, you know, just being a mom or just being a wife or closing out one season of your life is not the end. It's really a closed ending to what you're in now, opening up for the new that's coming next. So just I breathe. Like and wait. <laughs> yes, breathe and wait and be open to what life brings you.